do not adjust your set because night has fallen about five o'clock and Richard Hewitt, who's right there, oh, you can't see me pointing at him, and he's too tight. Even though he's got plenty of battery, too tight even to turn his LED lights on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, we have illumination. And that's what you were looking at, ladies and gentlemen. Richard Hewitt. And he says, while I'm up there, so let me just stand up again. Let's do the other one. Oh, you're about having two on. Oh, no. Oh, oh my, oh my God. God! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's quite cozy. This one. It's got a nice yellow timbre to it. Oh, it's uh, oh, um, cigarette stained. Yeah. Nice. Tard. 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 Yeah. Anybody out there walking the dogs? Is not much no, it's gone quiet now. Gone. Yeah. No, it's quiet now until. Shit's stuck in more summer thought. Right, right before you get into a five minute uh, shaggy dog story, um, any final thoughts to the socks with sandals viewers? Thoughts of socks with sandals viewers. And they're allowed to last a maximum of the 23 seconds, your thoughts? Well, I, he's banging in front, in front of me like that. I yep. can't think in those few seconds of what, what to say. As soon as you, you bung out in me in my boat race, I don't, I don't know what to say. <sighs> if you hadn't done that, I could have thought of something. Oh, wow. Yeah, so anyone who wants content like that all the time... That's uh, not how I normally am. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you, 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 know, you know how to find Richard's channel. I don't turn my camera on until I've got some thoughts. Oh, you've there. actually had a thought? Yeah, Wow, really. so that's yeah. about like once every two days. Oh, you... I think, well, that may have got my very good subject. My viewers might like to see. Wow. Yeah. So, in summary, what you are watching on Richard Hewitt's channel is not just his off-the-cuff musings. Oh, no. These are his most carefully composed thoughts over days of crafting in his mind. You're, you're getting not... The live experience of Richard Hewitt. That's how you see him on the Socks with Saddles channel. But on his channel, you actually get to see Richard Hewitt at his best. <laughs> you do you certainly do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I could not have sold, uh, miss, miss sold your channel better than that. <coughs> You're doing it again, aren't you? I've known him for a couple of years now and I'm still waiting for him to say something vaguely interesting. <laughs> <laughs>
for some reason, right, we don't want to lose face and give Russia, uh, welcome Russia back into yeah, the yeah. economic world, right? So what have they done? They've partnered up with India and China, and they're selling all the stuff that we should be buying cheap to India and China, and we're buying it off those middlemen, really expensive. So we're still buying Russian gas, but it doesn't go through the Nord Stream 2 pipeline because... Someone blew it up. Someone blew it up. Uh, if Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing... The, uh, the the border of Ukraine again. Then uh, there will be uh, we there will be no longer a Nord Stream two. We we will bring it into it. But do, but how will you how will you do that exactly? Since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control. We will. Uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. Disclaimer, although it might appear that I am mercilessly ridiculing Richard Hewitt on my channel for everything that he believes and doesn't believe and knows and doesn't know and thinks and doesn't think, in fact, I find him an extremely jocular, avuncular chap who does actually come up with genuinely interesting conversation. Do I? I believe yes, yes, I know. It's, oh, it, God. it's actually a news flash to Richard Hewitt. But, uh, yes, he actually says interesting things. And there you go. That's the disclaimer. <laughs> so when you meet him, don't be surprised if he's way more interesting than uh, I make him look in my character assassination videos. <laughs> They confirmed that the Department of Health and Social Care does not hold any information on the isolation of a SARS-CoV-2 virus. In other words, it does not exist. Right, while I'm watching the first hour's <coughs> first hour info was the nice serenade for the drive back. Chicken Jalfrezi was. <sighs> Spicy, hot. Um. Back in. couple of weeks ago I complained about how crap the radio was. They're playing techno all day. <laughs> and today at work they made us a free sausage and hash brown bun in brown sauce. HP naturally. Oh there's Andrew now. Free free lunch. Don't let anyone tell you there's no such thing as a free lunch. Yeah. Now, annoyingly, my Welsh flag blew away in the storm last night. Let's see if the flag's blown down the road. Oh, there's absolutely no chance. It could be miles away by now. It doesn't seem to have caught on anything nearby. 
and I'm not actually going any further than the shop across the road. Yeah, that's the thing about attachment. Sometimes you just have to learn to let go. Not let such trivial material possessions or even careers define your identity. That was in more solidly than I'd expected. Do I have to remove it? No. Oh. <laughs> and as I stuff down my Mars ice cream after a nice brisk walk in the freezing December wind I have a spaghetti carbonara cooking away beautifully on the diesel heater outlet Still continuing to use cash as much as possible, and you know it's it's like the removal of cash is the new COVID or the new global warming or the new streptococcus or the new <laughs> we have always been at war with Russia. Oh. But basically, if you don't understand what's going on, I'm not going to explain it to you, alright? I'm just going to show you the evidence, and you can hate me for it, and that'll be just fine. And if you don't like it, <laughs> you can go and watch YouTube channels about van life, where all they say is like, oh... This is my ammeter and combined voltmeter and galvanometer, if you wish. Technically, it's a shunt. And this is an electric oven, 700 watts. And these are the spare batteries, not only for my emergency torch, but for lamps in the back of my van, should the main. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I can't speak like. I don't have a script.